You know the vibes, you feel me? We back with another reaction. So, this is a Krishan Rock reaction. So, this is basically the role manager on Tamar Braxton team. And he said that he was there for the whole altercation about how uh, Krishan snuffed James Wright out and he had to go to the hospital. So, he about to tell us exactly what happened because he was in the room, you know what I'm saying? Before I press play on this video, subscribe to my channel, you heard, put your chest in it, you know what I'm saying? And smash that like button and let me know what y'all think in the comment section. So, let's just get into this real quick. I want to address the assault. I want to address the assault. That's what I want to address right now because that is what is at question. And what is at question is the assault. And it breaks my heart that we even have to go this route and even have to go back and forth on social media. For those that don't know, I am the tour manager for Tamar Braxton, the Love and War Tour. And what I'm going to address is the assault. We were in the room. At the end of the show, Krishan walked up to Tamar. Troy brought her out a cake. Tamar put her hands in the cake. She had a right hand full of cake and some cake in her mouth. And Krishan came out and was like, where you going, sis? Gotta go on stage. And I'm looking like, huh? Like, what's, what's happening? And Tamar, like, the, the show is over. What do you mean? She said, I'm about to go on stage. And she's like, huh? You ain't, you ain't been out? You haven't went out there already? Because she was supposed to go out during the twerk session. She hadn't been out. She, she, Krishan hadn't been out. So I was like, come on, ladies. Let's just take this in the dressing room. So we went in the dressing room, and in the dressing room, it was me, Tamar, and Krishan. Tamar was trying to figure out why hadn't Krishan, why didn't Krishan go out during the twerk session? And she's looking at me, and I'm like, I don't know, like, Krishan, I, I don't know why she didn't go out. So Krishan breaks down and starts crying, and I felt bad, and the Holy Ghost in me, because I carry it everywhere with me. I began to give her a hug and everything like that because I like Krishan. I like her. And, you know, and I was like, I don't want to see nobody with their feelings hurt or I don't want nobody feeling some sort of way because there was a big line of miscommunication that took place. So I began to try to calm. But they did say that um, it happened like her slot. She missed her slot because she was trying to get her friend in or something like that. So... You know, that really wasn't um, their fault. Krishan should have been there, you know what I mean? Hug her and be like, no, don't cry because it's not that. You know what I'm saying? We Nobody was trying to, I don't want you to feel no sort of way. And this was just in the dressing room. And this was me, Krishan, and Tamar at the time. As the time went on, Krishan was explaining that this happens to her all the time. And she felt some sort of way because she felt embarrassed. She felt embarrassed and she felt like, you know, that this is just like, that shouldn't happen to her because, you know, she was just prepared to go out during a twerk session and that time had come and she didn't go out. So Tamar is still asking, like, well, what happened? What what happened? Why didn't she go out? And I'm like, Shit, I'm trying to figure out what happened too. So um, David and Mooney come in. They both do makeup. And we're all at this point talking about what happened. Tamar is saying, Mooney, what happened? Da, da, da. Mooney was saying that Krishan was not on the side of the stage when it was time for the twerk part. Mooney is a choreographer and he also does makeup. Mooney was saying Krishan was not on the side of the stage. So, it's like, well, what happened? What happened? Well, who was, who was, who was there? Who can, like, what? Everybody's screaming, what happened? What happened? At this point, Krishan is like, yes, I was on the side of the stage. I was there. And I was like, okay. And I'm, me, I'm trying to calm. Everybody now just let's do this uh, a peaceful conversation because Krishan is upset. She's very upset. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Like, okay, let's calm down. Like, everybody, let's talk this thing out or whatever. And then um, a few more talking, talking, talking. And then James comes in the room. So at this point, it's me, Krishan, David, Mooney, Tamar, James. James comes in the room and notices that Krishan is upset. By the mirror, Krishan is on the right-hand side. James is right next to her. He was consoling her, and I was literally right next to James. And Tamar asking James, well, what happened? Why didn't Krishan go out there during the twerk session? And James said, 
we was looking for her on the side of the stage and she was not on the side of the stage. And Krishan got very upset and she was like, I was on the side of the stage. I was there. Where, where else would I go, man? You lying. Like, that's Cap. I was, I was on the side of the stage. Like, I was there on the side of the stage. And James said, no, no, you, you wasn't. We called for you there. Krishan said, say, say I wasn't there one more time. Say I wasn't there on the side of the stage one more time. James was like, I'm telling you, we was calling you and you. Bow, 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 bow. Damn, I'm like, oh, shit. Bro. Literally happened just like that. And here I am, like, this girl just hit this boy a couple of times with them big ass rings on her finger. Nah, bro, with the rings? Nah, that's crazy, bro. So she snuffed him with all, with the, she got like, I think her ring says rock, right? So she got those big old, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. I'm that's just OD, like, no, bro. this is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. I get Krishan to the other side of the room. At this point, James' face is leaking with blood. Yeah, she nah. At, fir at first, at first, when they were saying like he was, his face was leaking and he had to go to the hospital. I'm like, they probably dragging it a little bit just to you know make the situation a little you know whatever. But if like he said, she had those rings on her fist, bro. So like, you can't even, re you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure his face was was leaking. So I'm I'm gonna take that back. You feel me? Cause I thought they were just gassing it, but like those 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 rings that she had. Man, that's cap. Damage. That's cap. Da 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 da. Everybody is shocked. And I mean shocked because, mind you, I like Krishan. I'm still at this moment trying to de-escalate everything. Like, I don't want this to go left. Like, this is this is crazy. This is all craziness. And I'm like, Krishan, you got to calm down. Everybody, you got to calm down. Like, this, every, it's a lot of yelling. At this point, Mooney and James, get her ass out of here. Da -da -da -da. You know, I'm like, okay, everybody calm down. I got Krishan. On my right hand side, now she's at the back, the, the door is right there. I'm blocking Krishan on here. Because at this point, she don't go. She like, well, what's up? Like, her defense is all the way up now. And people trying to get in the door. And I'm stopping people from coming in the door. Troy was one of the people that I stopped from coming in the door. And I'm like, okay, y'all, let's, let's, we got to talk this out. We cannot, this is crazy. Tamar walks over to Krishan. That is like, she said, that is like my blood brother. You cannot just go hitting my blood oh, brother in his man. face. What is wrong with you? What's happening? All of this is, all of this is going on. Everybody's emotions are on 100. And then Krishan, I got Krishan out of the room when Bandcamp came in the room. Bandcamp came in the room, got Krishan out of the room, and that was that. I walked out of the room. And I called the police. So in the video that she just made and said, well, why wasn't the police there? Why wasn't this there? And actually, to tell the truth, I called, I, we had, there were 28 security guards in that building that day from the Novo security team. What? 28. Bro. I went to the. So you had 28 security guards in the venue. And none of them was there to stop Krishan for but busting my son teeth out, bro. Like, what are what are they there for? Y'all just wasting wasting money, wasting part of y'all budget. Because how did that happen? Y'all have twenty eight securities in the building. Right? Security at Novo, and I asked them. I said, I need somebody to get up here right now. They somebody been already has just there. been assaulted. They asked me questions. They said, who? I said, James, I said, can you call the police? You know what Novo told me? Novo said they cannot call the police. I had to call the police. I went and called 911. You can call 911 on public records. You can call 911. You can check the records right after immediately happened. I called 911. It took the police over two 
hours to get to the Novo. We were, I was not leaving until the police came. I was not leaving until the police came. It took the police over two hours to get, it yeah. took them over two hours to get to the Novo. Yo, she's gonna get in trouble for that, bro. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. She's gonna get in trouble for that. I mean, she got witness. They got witnesses. Several witnesses, not just one, not just two, not just three. A whole room full of people. She made him bleed. Once you shed, um, shed blood. That they don't play with that. That's just, that's assault for sure. He just had a baby. I mean, I don't know, bro. Krishan down bad right now. What y'all think in the comments, bro? Y'all, y'all, um, are y'all supporting this this bad behavior that Krishan is a, a, um is a showing right now, displaying? You know, we have to. You know, I like Krishan too. You know, what I'm saying, nah, not a lot of y'all are team Krishan. But we got to hold her accountable for her actions. You know what I'm saying? So, if we're not going to do it, the law is about to do it. You know what I mean? And it's better for, like, the fans and, you know, uh, people around her to tell her these things so that she don't be in a situation where she got to go through legal issues. You feel me? And that's just exactly what's happening right now. And hopefully she learned from this. Um, subscribe to my channel, you heard. Put your chest in it before you click off this video. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Let's get it.